Driving large and more complex vehicles is just as easy as for standard vehicles, although there are some additional functions to help. For this example, I'm going to use the FTA 2016 Arctic. I'm going to select that and click OK to set it as the current vehicle. And I'm going to use this vehicle in a couple of paths to evaluate this new intersection design. So I'm going to start off with a 2D arc path. I'm going to left click to place my vehicle in the drawing. Select the orientation, left click to start driving. So I will click the left mouse button to drive my vehicle through this left turn. And I will right click when I'm finished. If we zoom in a bit closer here, we can see that my vehicle path has gone up over onto the curb. So I'm going to use the path control button to edit the path. The blue nodes have been placed where I left click the mouse originally. And if I click on one of them, then I can adjust the path of the vehicle after it's been drawn. OK, I can take a few of these and adjust the vehicle path to make it a better fit into the turn. There are these red crosses, which allow me to delete a node, or the green plus symbol, which allows me to add a node and get finer control over the vehicle movement. We can see here that while the vehicle has mostly passed, the clearance isn't exactly huge and it has ridden up onto this um, near side curb. So um, we might need to look at redesigning this traffic island to prevent larger trucks from repeatedly mounting it or the curb. Now let's look at this right turn. I'll select 2D arc path again, place the vehicle on the approach road and drive up to the intersection. At any point when driving, I can switch to different turn modes. Here I'm going to select generate a corner path. Now this will turn the vehicle onto a fixed bearing currently set to 82.3 degrees. If I know the turn angle, I can manually input it here. If not, I can use this icon to select the sweep angle from an existing feature line. Here, this allows me to line up my truck perfectly with the exit road. So left click to position the vehicle. If I go again, then the turn angle will be fixed. So I would need to move back to generate arc path to continue driving normally down the road. Right click when I'm finished. This time when I select the path control as well as the original blue nodes, green nodes, we actually have a couple of different nodes here on the turn. By selecting the blue arrows I can adjust the turn radius or with the purple rhombus I can adjust the entry offset or the exit offset of the turn or a combination of both at the same time. So we can use these for larger vehicles to um, have greater control over their turns. Once I'm happy with that, I right click to finish editing.